for students that struggle with foiling with radical expressions, please use the box method. So we have two radical five on top plus three. Don't have to put the sign unless it's negative. Then we have radical five minus one. When we multiply radical five times two radical five, this is just going to give us 10, right? Then when we go to the next one, three times radical five, this is three radical five. Negative one times two radical five is just negative two radical five. And then negative one times positive three is negative three. Now, when I combine my like terms, we're going to have seven, right? That's 10 minus three. And then three radical five minus two radical five is just going to be plus radical five. So when we look at our answer choices, this is going to be answer choice B. This is the same expression. They just wrote it with the radical first. So if you struggle, like I say, with foiling radicals or just foiling in general, please use the box method. We have a video link down below to help you with it if you need.